सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल है एक प्रमोट सस्टेन्ड इंक्लूसिव एंड सस्टेनेबल इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ फुल एंड प्रोडक्टिव एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड डिसेंट वर्क फॉर ऑल इन अ नाटशेल सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल एक calls for local area economic development activities and essentially gram panchayat always works towards local area economic development activities let us see how can we align our gram panchayat work with sdg 8 enhancing local economic development surpasses fulfilling the fundamental necessities of individuals it encompasses collective efforts towards accomplishing sustainable economic expansion and elevated quality of life flourishing necessitates both employment and income hence requiring an increment in job opportunities within the gram panchayats a boost in entrepreneurial activities and additional avenue for economic growth for local economic development potential from natural resources the following things should be assessed before we go for planning with gram panchayat enumerating the potential of production and diversity from agricultural land water bodies forest and animal husbandry enumerate the requisites for enhanced productivity such as irrigation modern cultivation technologies like precision farming poly houses integrated nutrient management waste management and water management systems cold storage units and warehouses these inputs can lead to increased farm income generation and employment opportunities to establish this growth on a more sustainable basis farmer producer organization fpo and labor banks are to be encouraged The world's largest FPO is Amul. It was instrumental in making India the biggest milk producer globally. Furthermore, Amul ranks first in milk processing technology as well as marketing strategies worldwide. Its origin dates back to rural areas. So, why are we unable to emulate its success in other sectors or regions? We should be able to do. if we planning properly however several other measures may be considered for local economic development this includes reliable power water and safe processing methods for solid and liquid waste which can be identified to establish small industrial parks with a vector free environment quality control laboratories can be established in conjunction with schools and phcs while common packaging facilities are created under the gram panchayat's name as part of an incubation center linked to polytechnics engineering colleges or food technology institutes c local enterprises may meet demands for local consumption by leveraging local cooperative banks d mechanization of agriculture can commence alongside the creation of labor banks for local employment opportunities Building self-help groups comprising both poor men and women within the neighborhood is a promising starting point for all these activities since it creates an enabling environment that supports thrift and credit, microfinance initiatives, opening bank accounts as well as facilitating linkages with banks etc. thus making financing micro enterprises easier with a shorter span of time. and how did panchayats get engaged into this why should panchayat get engaged into this okay the activities mentioned above conform to the subjects of panchayats as per the 11th schedule of 73rd amendment of constitution of india where small scale industries including food processing industries khadi village and cottage industries technical training and vocational education minor forest produce fisheries animal husbandry dairying and poultry agriculture including agricultural extension are all included within the that are the things that can be transferred to panchayat and also 
one of the key objective laid out in the 73rd amendment to the constitution is local economic development following this gram panchayats can engage in local economic development by mapping the micro small and medium enterprises within the panchayat area identifying enterprise opportunities in the village and creating employment opportunities for individuals with varying degree of disabilities to identifying and tracking potential candidates to establish enterprises and assessing the skills of interested candidates three facilitating the prevention of child labor through awareness campaigns providing job opportunities under ngnrgs ensuring availability of facilities at ngnrgs work sites preventing manual scavenging rehabilitating manual scavengers through social welfare department cash assistance programs and entrepreneurial development training initiatives additionally hand holding support should be provided for new enterprises while also promoting job creation through convergence of ongoing schemes and sponsorships maintaining a database of labor and employment as well as categorizing disabled individuals based on their nature and degree of disability and finally creating awareness on equal wages for men and women who perform equal work along with developing IC materials that provide information about labor legislations, right entitlements, and lastly, establishing village level child protection committee is important to promote child protection services. Thank you.